dear students now we are going to see the status of the e governance in pakistan in 2002 uh, the electronic government directorate of pakistan was established uh, before that there was no uh, central uh, uh, command and control unit uh, uh, over there uh, when we talk about the e government or e governance and in 2005 pak e government strategy was developed and at the present national information technology board is responsible for e government and e governance and when we uh, see our uh, development on the un model of e government uh, services so at the first stage if we see that emerging information uh, we come to know that uh, various uh, governmental departments have developed their own websites and provide strategic uh, information on those websites and if we talk about the second stage uh, which is enhanced information services uh, so some uh, governmental uh, uh, departments have developed their own apps to engage the citizen and the example is pakistan railways national highway authorities uh, they have developed uh, their own apps and providing information to the citizen when we talk about the transactional services uh, the recent example in this regard is pakistan citizen portal which is a, a, a comprehensive uh, citizen centric application in which you can uh, complain on on the on the performance of various uh, governmental institutes and uh, this uh, platform provides you uh, service delivery and Uh, when we talk about the fourth stage it is connected services and uh, uh, in this regard uh, the optimum example is uh, national command and control center uh, developed during the days of the co outbreak of covid-19 and it is responsible to see the overall uh, status of the corona virus in pakistani society and it is working with a, a very effective manner and providing a, a 24/7 updates to the citizens to the relevant governmental departments and updating the people on daily basis what are the challenges when we talk about e governance in pakistan the first thing which is missing regarding the e governance in pakistan is that there is no comprehensive policy or plan to see the e governance development Uh, we have uh, piecemeal projects and uh, we focus on those piecemeal projects but do not uh, uh, em uh, emphasize on the comprehensive policy and uh, we have to prioritize high impact agency specific applications if we want to develop a good e government uh, uh, services and uh, there is the issue of security as well that how can we um, uh, secure the government information and privacy of the data we have to mature our systems in this regard and uh, the government must uh, provide it management funding to the relevant stakeholders in order to build better applications or systems for the e governance and we have to generate uh, content in local ang languages as well as to bridge the uh, digital divide as you all know that most of the people in pakistan don't know don't know english language and even uh, majority of the population uh, don't even know the urdu language uh, comprehensively so we have to generate the applications and software in local languages so the marginalized community can use uh, such applications uh, in their local languages to remain updated on the various day to day uh, affairs